Violence, crashing out, shaking butt, and downright degenerate behavior. We are the only ones with our negative qualities to be at the forefront and representation of our community. Asian people have all types of issues, but they're known for being smart. Meanwhile, we got Megan Thee Stallion twerking at presidential rallies before GTA 6. Clearly, we are in the end of times in America based on... I mean, he ain't never lied, you feel me? Yeah, you know a lot, bro. I've been sick and tired. I just been like scrolling down black YouTube like yesterday, today. I even made a little documentary. I dropped it last night. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them things going too. A lot of these YouTubers gonna be mad at me because I'm just sick and tired of it, bro. Like creators like this guy right here, Love Halil. We need more of him, bro. Like Cameron, we need more of him. But put y'all cash up in the comments, man. I know how I do. Put your cash up in the comments. Also, if you want to join a thousand dollar giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and go follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. It will be going down October 22nd. Um, live on this channel, bro. Y'all don't want to miss it. But hey, we get to the video, fam two presidential candidates but besides that look at the representatives they choose as the spokespersons of black people trump 2020 2024 i mean just the other day presidential candidate kamala harris genuinely had megan the stallion performing quavo hitting a speech the one thing i learned about working with vice president harris is she always stand on business Quavo was like out here advocating against gun violence. Don't walk it like he talk it. I ain't even finna get it. I ain't finna get it, bro. I'm not finna get started with that because I want. Don't. Why, why are we talking about Trump? I ain't worried about him. I'm worried about what you done did. You talking about somebody not walking it like they talking it? Your record is crazy. You feel me? Meanwhile, he be rapping about getting people sticked up left and right. Possession of a firearm in a school safety zone. And on the other side, we have Sir Donald Trump, who's backed by the rapper OT7 Kwani and Sexy Red. We have a Philly rapper. He's going places. I got fiends lined up outside like one of 2K drops. We cannot win either way. But all jokes aside, I'm sure there's plenty of activists that could have replaced these people. This is straight out of an episode of the Boondocks, bro. The average black person can look at this, question it, and wonder what the hell is going on right now. And don't be quick to call me Rocket Raccoon, Uncle Tom Uncle Ruckus. I have legitimate points that need to be addressed. So today, we're going to be talking about the problem with ghetto black people. Brief intermission. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you've seen my videos before and you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Back to the video. Let me introduce you to the YN trend. The term YN stands for young niggas. Basically, it represents a group of people who are young, black, and ready to crash out over anything at a young age. Got all types of artillery and zero future. Because their brains are simply underdeveloped, bro. These dudes be having infamous Instagram usernames like Walk em Down, Trey, and they have no regard for human life. Now, the issue arises in the trend where young, impressionable minds might see this behavior and might want to be a part of the young nigga group. You know why? Because invoking fear in people, going viral, is something that every child loves. Okay, That's the issue. People just want clout. They want clout so bad. These YouTubers is terrible. They want clout so bad. They do anything, bro. Like I'm talking about anything. Just foolish, bro. Like make me sick to my stomach. To do at some point. Like look at these jits, man. Going anywhere with them YNs. <laughs> Future inmates with no real life goals. You make black people look bad. My pleasure and thanks for getting me in the algorithm. They don't care, bro. We already seen Prime Boot Gang pretty much crash out daily for content. We don't need more of those, bro. With more and more videos about these young N words, the more and more we see people actually want to do it and participate in the trend. Mag Dumper Vante, they with them K's. Walk them down to hell. And I understand that this is funny, you know. I'm not hitting on the creator at all. This video got 200,000 likes. A cool 1.8 million views, which equates to about hmm, his RPM might be about a uh, 15 cents per thousand views, which calculates to about 272 dollars off this video alone. Not bad for the pocket watch. But laughing about this, a person like me starts to see deeper, you know, starts to think a little deeper than the average individual, you know, because I'm a little bit more wise and well beyond my ears. Mr. Hawkum down. I'm immediately waving the white flag. I surrender, gang. I ain't trying to get in no altercation. Let's really, really think about this for a second. We as grown folks are afraid of our own youth because they might destroy us and obliterate us with gen 5s that have switches on them these are kids minors no other group of people has to worry about that bruh ain't no walk them down timmy ain't no walk them down kevin Nguyen. no it's just a, just a black people issue bro and we need to fix it bruh
Come on. And it does not start with the glorification of a serious issue like our black youth literally destroying each other in the streets. Bro, this is not war zone. This is not a game. You don't just live up poles on people and respawn like it's rebirth. And every life is important, which some of these young niggas don't understand. As funny as the young nigga trend is, it's pretty sad. Let's be real. And we can even go into the fact that some of the people who are finding it's funny and really blowing it up don't even be black for real. They're That's be crazy. Dude. We the only race that do it. No other race brag about unaliving each other. We the only ones that do it. And then, and then somebody speak out against it. We get called by our own, our own people, Uncle Tom. Like, how, how you gonna call me Uncle Tom for, for speaking the truth, trying to help us out? You know what I'm saying? Don't even make sense. People out here, stupid, bro. Add white people posing as black people in comment sections, I'm just saying. So watching this stuff go down is just like one big, large circus act. Now, I feel like this is an exhausted point, but I really cannot go with this whole video without destroying people like Sexy Red and Ice Spice for plaguing the youth with their humiliation ritual ass antics. I mean, Ice Spice literally has bars about defecation in multiple, multiple songs. I'm just, I'm that bitch, I'm just poopy. I'm just poopy like I need a diaper. You're not even the fuck. What the sig? What the sigma? Yo, I got a question. And it does seem like Ice Spice is on the downward side of her career, bro. She is getting tired of this act. She's getting tired of spamming that one emote she always does. Put the fries. Yeah, I never got tired of watching a girl twerk, but she literally. <laughs> it's funny because my homeboy said the same thing. It's just like, bro. I'm tired of watching you twerk. It's just like, that's her like cop out move. It's like if she gets it, it's like if she can't find nothing else to do, she just twerk. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm tired of watching you twerk, bro. Like, oh my Lord. I'm just, bro. Lord, bro the bag put the munch in the bag god damn she got the expression of eeyore off winnie the pooh right now and i'd be tired of doing this too this gimmick can only go on so long and of course it's not just ice spice you know all the masculine male rappers be rapping about degeneracy too i mean at the end of the day it is just music and it would be hypocritical of me to come at rappers when rock stars sing about worse or pop stars sing about horrible things too now in my opinion we can have some of these criticisms of the hood without being incredibly anti-black some of the best people in the world came from the hood i would feel more safe around certain people from the hood than an average person on the street. If a woman is being mugged in the street by a dude, who do you think is gonna step up? Timmy here or Duke Dennis? If I was a woman, I'd put my trust and life in the hands of the glorious savior and one and only Duke Dennis. That's just me though. There was a trend online and it was essentially people saying that they were afraid of everybody from the hood. Whenever people from the hood are nearby, they lock their car doors, start clutching their purses. We all stop pretending like hood people don't scare us. That is the same mentality that racist white folks be having, bruh. Just cause you're from the hood does not mean you're on menace timing all the time. And to me, I would say that is some pretty crazy anti-black rhetoric. People from the hood were getting kind of upset. And because I'm, I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good people from the hood. A lot of time, hood niggas ain't out here just finding random people and, and, and stomping on them. Nah, hood niggas, they, they do that to their ops, their opposition. You feel me? You got to realize, like my dad, he hit me up. He told me yesterday, he said a lot of these guys, they really not hood for real. They, they just slow. Them be the ones that just go step on some people for no reason. And them be the slow ones that's portrayed as a hood dude. They just slow. You feel what I'm saying? Them the ones you got to be afraid of. But average hood dude ain't just out here just hurting anybody. Nah. They just, you feel me, looking out for their ops. Had valid arguments against that. The fact that y'all is out here talking like black people from the hood is like a subspecies of black people just because they was born or live in a certain part of the city is crazy. FYI, nobody from the hood is thinking about y'all scary bitch ass. I feel like if you genuinely despise people who came from the hood, you're really not that much better than a discriminatory white dude. At some point, whether you want to admit it or not, all black people pretty much came from the hood at a time in one of their generations. But after slavery, it was not just move in next to John Smith and now you're friends with Massa and everybody's cool and everybody's living together in a nice suburban community. There was redlining, ghettos were created, crack was distributed, and damn near every black person had to make it out of the struggle at some point. So if you're going to make it out and then damn near look down on the people who you basically abandoned, 
Brandon in a sense. That's pretty insane. And also to give credit to people from the hood, I would say people from the hood create like 90% of pop culture, bro. All the slang comes from the hood. It's not coming from suburban black people. The chains, grills, fashion sense, that stuff not coming from dudes in the suburbs, all right? It's not coming from people who look like they know how to play Smash Bros with a mini afro. It's coming from dudes in do-rags and women in bonnets, bantu knots, etc. Half the terms like unk, rius, yacht came from the black community in the hood. I'm telling you right now, no suburban black people came up with those terms. And famous artists like Basquiat were probably from the hood. I hope he's from the hood and I didn't accidentally just throw him in the hood. Uh, is it because his locks? Am I stereotypical? Now, with that said, I think it is fair to have criticism of people from the hood without being an Uncle Ruckus, Raccoon, Uncle Tom, whatever you want to call it. One thing I genuinely despise is when people try to act like debatable topics are completely objective. Like, no, people are allowed to have different opinions, bro. We are not all the same. Dear niggas from the hood, bro. And really, dear people in general. We gotta help these people in the hood, bro. Because I understand that not all of y'all are crash outs. Not all of y'all have this mentality. Being from the hood does not group you in with those people who have that crash out mentality. I understand that some of the best people come from the hood, bro. Since I went to school in the hood, there is plenty of people that I know that came from terrible areas. Very successful, you know, average, regular, good people. And it absolutely sucks to get grouped in with those crash outs. To me, it's more of the mentality. It's not about coming from the ghetto, but you can have a ghetto mentality where it's like, all right, bro enough is enough in conclusion ghetto black people or people from the hood have some issues that really need to be worked on and i think the average black person is kind of upset and kind of annoyed with the way our image is we need to have more positive trends all right we need to have more positive representation and i think that's legit criticism and legit concerns that i can raise without being anti-black let me know what you think down below in the comments um do you think it's that deep do you think trends like the yn trend is really that serious or do you think that it actually addresses a larger and deeper issue that people are just simply ignoring anything else i gotta say before i get out here DreamCon 2024 was ab. Yeah, but hey, I'm gonna end it right there. Shout out to uh, Love Halal. Halal. But yeah, man, we need more black creators to stand up. That's gonna, you feel me? That's gonna actually be creators and not just do stupid stuff to get views. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm not, I ain't never selling out, bro. Like, doing a whole bunch of foolishness just to get views just for money, bro. I, I'm cool where I'm at. You feel me? Like, I can promise y'all that from the beginning, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, this moment, I ain't never selling out. I'm going to stay just like this my whole career. You feel what I'm saying? If I have to go against everybody, I ain't trying. I ain't one of them dudes. Like I told y'all before, I ain't trying to ch clout chase or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? I'm I'm putting out the truth, and, and I'm going to stand on that, but... Thank you guys for watching this video, man. I'll go um, subscribe to Love Halal. I'm going to put his, uh, I'm going to add him in the uh, comments. But yeah, see you guys next video. And always remember, be safe out there, Kings. Let's get it.